Welcome back. Denver 7 has reported extensively on the quantum computing revolution. Right now, Colorado has more companies focused on quantum computing than anywhere else in the world. And they're working with some of our major universities to unlock the secrets to curing cancer or ending climate change. Really world changing applications could come from this. But first, researchers need to learn a lot more about how quantum chips themselves work. And I got a look inside a place where they're going to be studying those chips. It is deep with within the Edgar Experimental Mine in Idaho Springs. 150 years ago, this was actively mined for silver, gold, lead, and copper, but today it's owned by the Colorado School of Mines and used for research and educational purposes. Recently, School of Mines students had the opportunity to help excavate a portion of the mine where the Colorado Underground Research Institute will soon be building a quantum computing lab. It's right here. This is what it looks like right now. Uh, so why build a computer lab in a mine? Well, I took that question to the head of the physics department and director of quantum at School of Mines, and it's because the atoms in quantum chips are really easily disturbed by environmental noise, but underground, you can get rid of that. Underground, you know, because you can study the chips for a little longer, you start learning more about them. If you can do this, if you can be at low temperature, you limit the thermal noise. You limit the electromagnetic radiation that is interacting with the chip, and you limit the amount of cosmic rays that can impact those chips. Yeah, you can create that pristine environment. Well, it's going to be about two more years before the lab is operational, but already the mine is getting global attention. While we were there shooting our story, this group from the Korean Broadcasting System was also there filming it for a documentary on quantum computing. Uh, this is not the only place in Colorado they'll be filming because, as I said, Colorado is really the epicenter of quantum right. computing right now, so we're getting a lot of attention over this. I feel like all of a sudden you started to hear like the governor talk about it, all of the research happening. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's been building over years, but it's it's fascinating. Yeah, it really is. So much exciting work happening yeah. around this, and I'm I'm gradually understanding sure. it better sure. while reporting on it. Yeah, and helping all of us yes. understand it too. That's cool. <laughs>